A blessed day to all, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We Today, Friday, within the octave of, of Easter, our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran SVD, Associate Priest. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, Friday of Easter week, we celebrate the breaking of the bread in the Eucharist and listening to God's word. Before we continue our celebration, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring life to those who have died. Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory Lord God heavenly King O God Almighty Father Lord Jesus Christ only begotten Son Lord God Lamb of God Son of the Father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of the father amen Let 
us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery and the covenant you established for reconciling the entire human race, so dispose our minds, we pray, that we may understand your revelation and the veil covering our eyes and minds may finally be taken away through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priest, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them. By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else. Nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and He has given a slide. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Please all rise to honor the Holy Gospel.
The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Continue, o Lord. Jesus revealed himself in this way. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together with were Simon, Peter, Thomas, called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. And he said to him, We also will come with you. And he said to him, So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side with the boat. You will find something. So they cast it. We were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped to the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. And Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over, dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over, took the bread, gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. It is part of our being human, that we have a mind, we have a heart, that we are tormented by many questions. Some people become blind to the questions and they live as if the, those questions do not exist. But if you sit a while, think about life, you will realize what the Second Vatican Council already said in 1965. Human beings look to their religions for an answer to the unsolved riddles of human existence. Unsolved cannot be solved completely. The problems that weigh heavily on the hearts of human beings are the same today as in ages past. What is a human being? What is the meaning and purpose of life? What is correct behavior? And what is sinful? Where does suffering originate? And what end that is, does it serve? But by cancer. May pamangkin ako, 29 years old pa lang, dalawang little boys, very cute. May cancer. Bakit? Yung mga trolls na yung mayaman, purveying lies, nagpapakalat ng lagim at kasinungalingan, Malulusog naman. How can genuine happiness be found? Saan tayo maghanap ng kaligayahan? Sa TikTok ba? O sa Mobile Legends? Sa BTS ba? O sa pagpapalaganap ng kasinungalinga? What happens at death? Yun ang last question. What is judgment? What reward follows death? And finally, the most tormenting question, what is the ultimate mystery 
beyond human explanation which embraces our entire existence from which we take our origin and towards which we tend. Anong uri ba ng Diyos pinapaniwalaan natin? Tormenting the human hearts. Puzzling, intriguing. And many people, according to the bishops, nabubuhay na hindi man lang nahaharap yung mga malalim na tanong na ating buhay. Minsan pati sa mga naniniwala. Sa mga humili, recollection, sa mga turo, ang babaw. Minsan yung mga sinasabi, parang kay ano na eh, kay ito ang inyong tia Adeli, mga popular sayings, mga platitude. Harapin natin itong questions na ito. Otherwise, we will not reach the fullness of our humanity. Ganyan din ako naman. Nag-aral ako sa UST. Kung saan-saan ka napupunta, may fraternity ka, aral-aral ka dyan. Minsan nagpi-flirt ka doon sa mga magagandang kaklase mo. Hindi, hinaharap yung malalim na tanong. Kaya lang, sinabi ko na sa inyo rin, natakpan ako na lambungan ng isang veil na madilim, napakaitim. Wala akong ibang mapuntahan. Kumapit ako sa krus. Doon ko na-realize yung sinabi sa Ibanghelyo ngayon. It is the Lord. Hanggang, sa aking palagay lang ito ah, hanggang hindi mo na rating yung pinakamalalim na darkness, hindi mo rin makikilala si Jesus bilang Panginoon at Tagapagligtas. O oh, maaari kang magsimba-simba dyan, kanta-kanta ka ng purihin ng Panginoon, mukhang masaya ka naman. Kailangan ipako ka sa krus eh, para may resurrection. So yung mga tao lang na napako na sa krus, sila lang nakakaunawa talaga ng kaligayahan ng muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoon. They become the Easter people. Samantalang karamihan, pahapyaw, hungkag, mababaw ang pamumuhay. Sabi ni Mark Twain, dalawang beses kang pinanganak, pinapanganak. You are born twice. First, when your mother gives birth to you. And second, when you find out why. You are born as a child, and then later on, you are born again when you find out the reason why you are a human being, why you are in this universe, why will you die, why will your niece have cancer, and why your mother will leave you when you miss her as much as anyone else. In the Gospel today, revelation is mentioned three times. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. And the last sentence, and this was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. So as we celebrate Easter, tatanungin natin yung ating sarili. Hindi kaya pahapyaw yung buhay ko. Am I not living a very superficial life? Should I not confront the questions that has bothered human beings since the dawn of time? What is human being? What is death? What is good and evil? So that Christ can reveal the answers to you. In the first reading, Peter said, There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. To be saved. I once was lost, and now I'm found, was blind, and now I see. Revelation in the Gospel of John, in the Greek 
is aletheia. The taking away of the veil. Ang pagtanggal ng lambong. Para malaman mo kung ano ang katotohanan tungkol sa buhay mo, kung bakit ganyan ka, bakit mamamatay ka sa wakas, I wanted to be a millionaire before I was 35 years old. Then I realized, maganda kaya yung ikaw ang pinakamayaman na tao sa kolumbaryum? Yung abo ka nala. Okay kaya yun? Na lahat ng sandali ng buhay mo, pagpapayaman. Pagkatapos, sa kolumbaryum, ikaw ang pinakamayaman. Siguro malaki-laki yung urn mo, baka gold pa yung urn mo. Abo ka pare. Pangangatawanan mo, lahat ng sandali ng kahungkagan, ng superficiality na inilaan mo, di, na ini, sinabuhay mo dito sa lahat ng taon na nabuhay ka sa mundong ito. So today, during the Mass, let us pray that we will have the strength to confront the tormenting questions of our very humanity. And if we are in darkness, that we will finally experience God's revelation, the revelation of the risen Christ, and we can say, It is the Lord. <clears throat> Prayers of the faithful. Our Lord Jesus Christ stays with us to guide us because He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is with us in all our struggles and trials because He is our Savior, the risen one. Let us pray to Him with complete trust and let us say, Risen Lord, renew our faith. Risen Lord, renew our faith that the whole church may be renewed by the grace of Easter, we pray. Risen Lord, renew our faith, that the peace which the risen Lord brought to his apostles be given to the people of the world, we pray. <coughs> risen Lord, renew our faith, that we may help the needy and feed them in body and spirit, we pray. Risen Lord, renew our faith, that the sick and the handicapped may receive comfort and hope from those who assist them. We pray. Risen Lord, renew our faith. For all of us that we may remain healthy and strong to weather this ordeal physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. May we all be protected from contract the virus and giving in to fear and panic. We pray. Risen Lord, renew our faith. That those who have gone before us may be welcomed to the shore of eternity. We pray. Risen Lord, renew our faith. God our Father, you restored us to yourself to the resurrection of your Son, and we are born again when we realize He is the Lord. Hear our prayers. Strengthen us in giving witness to our Easter faith. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. 
pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by this Paschal offering, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. In this time above all. To praise you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb. Who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your prayer. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, so that sin may be forgiven do this in memory of me
Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking with the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis of Pope, Onesto of Bishop, and all the members of your one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light we have faced. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Just pray with confidence to our Father in heaven in the words Jesus, the reason one taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, the Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Savior of the world, the truth, the way, and the life. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray. Those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and in the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may be ministered to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Grant, give us a grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsud, Saint Arnold Jansen and Saint Joseph Reynadimitz. The risen Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
May the Holy Triune God live and reign in our hearts. Saint Arnold Johnson, Saint Joseph Reinaldo. 